Welcome to Flight Sim Simon, part of the Flight Sim Network. I hope you're well. Today we're going to review FS Academy IFR. Now you'll find this software on the Sim Market website. Cost is 22.14 in euros, which is approximately 20 pounds and 50 pence at the moment in Greater British pounds. Now, what is FS Academy IFR for Microsoft Flight Simulator? Let's have a look. So what is FS Academy's IFR? Well, it's a coach and it will coach you the basic techniques of flying, purely using the aircraft instruments to perform in full IFR procedures, including VOR, NDB, ILS approaches, holding patterns, and much more. IFR mirrors a real instrument rating course and will use a real technique and procedures to learn how to fly IFR like the pros. You'll begin in the conventionally equipped Cessna 152 before moving forwards to the glass cockpits and then ultimately onto the big birds. The skills you learn are transferable and practically from any aircraft from a Cessna into a 747 and everything in between. Now within the package, each mission has an associated chapter. Progress through the ground school to manage to learn the theory behind the IFR flight as the briefing topics cover the details of what you need to know before you take to the skies and practice for yourself with the help of your instructor, of course, who's got a lovely voice, by the way. Once you're comfortable with your knowledge and abilities, take the IFR checkride and put your new skills to the test. Okay, so let's just have a look. How do we install it? So once your purchase is complete and you've downloaded the file, you get a zip file. When we open the zip file, we have another folder. We open the other folder, and the first thing we'll see here is we've got installation instructions, and to be fair, you're not really going to need the, the, the installation instructions. It's a simple matter of you copy the folder to here. And you're going to paste the contents into your community folder. That's it. You're installed. Then you start your sim. If you can't find your community folder, um, page three of the installation instructions will, will guide you depending on what system uh, installation you have of where to find it. So, so now it's installed, let's have a look at what's included within the package. There are 12 modules starting with the basic IFR, which is basically a level flight under flight instrument flight rules. Can you take off, level off, and turn and it shows you some industry standards of what you need to be able to carry out those maneuvers. Module two is partial panel. So looking at vacuum systems, compass turns. Module three is NBD and VOR analog tracking. And module four is NBD VOR for glass cockpits. Module five looks at holding patterns, including the entries and how to leave. And also looking at wind corrections. Module 6 is VOR Approaches and Module 7 NBD Approach. Module 8 is ILS Approaches and IFR 9 Departures. Number 10 is En Route Navigation, looking at turning anticipations and IFR cruising levels, also looking at minimum altitudes. IFR 11 is Circling and then finally the check ride at IFR 12. So as you'll see, it's a really comprehensive training package really worth the money but let's have a look at the sim to see what it actually looks like okay so now that we're in the simulator to find this coaching course on instrument flight rules we need to go to activities we then need to go to bush trips and then we will see all of the different episodes that's inside this training package Clicking on the first episode, we then see bush trips down the side. Ignore that. That's just um, an issue with Microsoft Flight Simulator for now. And after this, we simply just need to click fly. Welcome to Shoreham on the UK South Coast, where we'll begin our study of instrument flying by starting with the basics. Make sure to take a look through the manual as you progress to arm you with the knowledge you'll need. It doesn't take much for the weather to close in and prevent visual flight. Anytime the conditions at an airfield are worse than 1500 feet cloud base and five kilometers visibility, flying visually is not permitted. 
This is when an instrument rating is there to help you. Flight on instruments alone requires accurate and smooth handling, so we'll look at doing some handling practice with the conventional Cessna 152 with analog gauges. Complete your checks and when you're ready to go, taxi ahead to the holding point of runway 20. Gold Fox Truck Sierra Alpha Charlie cleared line up and take off runway 20 wind calm. Take off and head south climbing to altitude 2000 feet. First thing we're going to try is levelling off at an altitude. As discussed in the manual, there is a rule of thumb for choosing when to begin reducing your vertical speed to achieve a smooth and reliable level off. Use 10% of your current vertical speed to work out when to begin the level off. The 152 climbs at about 800 feet per minute, so start levelling off with 80 feet to go. That's at 1,920 feet here. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's now time for the summary. So IFR from FS Academy, from Microsoft Flight Simulator, from the Sim Market website, for me is a big thumbs up. I think for the price and its content is brilliant. As we said throughout the review, it's written by actual pilots, its content is high end, it's easy to install, it's really easy to get along with. Um, I learned an awful lot from the first three episodes that I did getting to know this. I'm going to stick with it. A bit of a refresher for me as well. I think you can't go wrong, there's so much to learn with this and I'm really excited to see what else FS Academy bring out. So thank you for watching, please do like the video, please do subscribe, that motivates us to carry on producing content. Thank you again, and we will see you soon. Goodbye now.